what advice would you give somebody considering a transition out of clinical medicine? What I would say is to start is really go internally and really think about why you want to make the change. And like I said, initially, when I started thinking about a transition, I really did think like maybe it's the location because like I, at that point I had been in the VA about eight or nine years. So I thought, let me try a different um, site, you know, let me try a different modality. So I'm doing telemedicine. So really think about why you want to change. And I know this sounds like such a cliche because I do hear this all the time, but you don't want to necessarily be running from something. You want to be like moving towards something. And I honestly, I'm glad that I spent that like couple of years there really trying to figure it out because I don't feel like I escaped clinical mm -hmm. medicine. Like I do, because I, I see a lot of people making the transition and they sound so desperate. Um, and I, I, I'm glad that I did not make the change in like desperation, because I think if I would have done that going into this role, it, it may have not been as like a smooth, like as pleasant transition, because there was like some of the things that I did need to kind of work on about why I was so unhappy, um, because it turns out for me, it really wasn't the patients. I actually love working with veterans and I miss that part of clinical medicine. It was things about the system. And believe it or not, there, those things about the system still exist because I still work in a bureaucracy. So yeah. I had to learn how I was going to navigate some of those. Now, I don't have all of those things. I have a lot more freedom and flexibility, you know, so I don't have all of those things. But there are some of the things about it was about working in a bureaucracy um, that was a federal government bureaucracy, but I still have those. And so I had to learn how I was going to navigate those in a workplace. And so if I hadn't done that, I would still potentially be unhappy. So I guess that's like one of the biggest pieces of advice I would say, if you're feeling desperate, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you feel like you're running from, if you can take a little time to really try to figure out why you want to change, you know, and not just feel like you need to escape. Because I think if you do that, you might run into another position and still find yourself like really unhappy.